Hey, right, what's going on guys? Um, I'm going to show you uh, something today that I found that I searched for for a while and I wasn't able to find a decent tutorial or even a method on how to do it. So I found one finally thanks to um, a couple guys over at Android Forums. The guy's name on Android Forums is Johnny Oliveris and uh, you know with a little help from Sammy's. Sammy's gets in there every now and then and he hooked it up, and uh, the PRLs used in this tutorial are provided by Gman 9831 uh, and by 2 Gigabyte SD. So, big ups to those guys. Uh, I'm going to be using my Metro PCS LG Motion 4G. Um, this definitely works for Metro PCS Android phones. Definitely the LG Motion. Any other phone you're trying it at your own risk, because I haven't tried on any other phones. Um, basically, when you have a, a uh, specifically, more often than not, um, pay-as-you-go unlimited phones, uh, they have a PRL on them, a preferred roaming list, and it's a list of cell phone towers that your phone should connect to in a roaming situation. Now, they're going to give you a preferred roaming list that contains the towers that are going to save the provider the most money, because they have to pay to use those towers. So basically... Uh, you know, it's the cheapest way for them to save money to give you a PRL that's going to make it so that you connect to whatever the cheapest tower in the area is. Sometimes using a different PRL might connect connect to different towers. You might get some better service. Uh, I've I've been reading through the the tutorial post that I used uh, to do this to my phone, and a lot of people are saying that in Texas, specifically in down south, like in the boonies, if you switch to a different PRL, specifically on Metro PCS, then um, you can get some better service than the default PRL. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, first thing you have to do, first I'll go in... And I will show you the PRL that I'm on. I don't want to display my phone number, so just hold on while I line up the PRL. So you can see right there I'm on PRL version 3032. And we're going to be installing PRL version 9033 onto this uh, phone here. Alright, so first thing you want to do is go into settings and then connectivity oh not connectivity I'm sorry uh, developer options you want to go into developer options and make sure that USB debugging is checked mine's grayed out because I'm already in USB mode but USB debugging is checked and then you want to um, hook your phone up to your computer my phone's already hooked up and you have to download the first file that's in the description of this video. It's called QPST. It's a Qualcomm programming uh, program to program phones, cell phones, <clears throat> made by Qualcomm. Uh, the, the installation might take a minute, so just let it do its thing, let it install, and then go to your start menu, open up QPST, and then you want to open up QPST configuration. All right, and then you'll see a screen like this. It'll probably be in the active phone's port. So you want to select ports. And then um, you want to go to add new port. A little button add down new port, there. You add can see new this. Port. COM3 or whatever COM it says. USB diagnostics. You want to select that and hit OK. And then your phone will come up here. Uh, then you want to go to start client and then select service programming and you'll get this screen here and you'll see your phone that is not my phone number so don't call that number the phone number is almost always different okay so you want to make sure that your phone is selected there and you want to hit OK and then it's going to load up this screen here okay first thing that we're going to do We are going to, down here, uh, we want to go down here, where is it, save to file, hit that. This is going to be a backup in case something gets screwed up. 
in this uh, process. I'll add to the description, you're going to need to, uh, I'm just going to go to my desktop and save that there. You're going to need to get your programming code. You have to take your IMEI number and ent enter it into this calculator thing to get your programming code. I'll have instructions on how to do that in the description. I already know my programming code, so I'm not going to have to do it for my phone. But um, you're going to need it, so you're going to want to do that. I'll have, uh, I'll have exactly how to do that in the description. So you want to go over to the Roam tab and click on that. And then you'll see down here Preferred Roaming. And they'll have a file box and a browse button. Oh wait, first of all, go back to settings. Click this little button here that says read from phone. This is where you have to enter your programming code. Alright, and it will gather all your information. Go over here to And you want to go to browse and then select the preferred roaming list that you want to have on your phone. I have these three, R three PRLs right here. You have to get the one that's for your provider. I'll have links to the uh, Metro PCS roaming lists in, my, in the description, but you have to get the ones that go for your provider. So I'm going to open that up. <coughs> It'll be loaded in there. Now you want to hit right to phone. And you're going to get this. Phone return to failure, blah, blah, blah. Hit OK. Hit OK. It's going to say that it didn't work. No. You can close it all down. <clears throat> So we're going to go back to the phone. Remember the PRL was PRL version 3032. We're going to power off and restart. I just got to wait a minute here when my phone reboots. settings about phone status let me get to the PRL version and there you have it 9033 so that's about it big ups to all these guys that, that posted this tutorial I've been looking for this forever that's how you do it that's how you change your PRL uh, I've actually found that I get much better service in certain areas and faster 4G speeds when I'm on this PRL 9033. So if you're